What's going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Rollo88, Commercial Live in the Flesh, and the Holy Spirit, Team Jesus here. Um, so today I want to talk to you guys about the publican and the sinner. The publican says, you know, thank you, God, that I'm not like other men. That I pay my tithes and I come to, you know, church often and I, you know, he's just saying how good he is. Right? And no man is good. Even Jesus said he wasn't good. Only the Heavenly Father is good. Okay, and the sinner should beat his chest and said, have mercy on me, God, a sinner, you know? And that's how I'm feeling right now. It's like, how do we move past that? But then again, I don't think what we do, because there's this girl, Sunflower Girl, beautiful um, video maker on YouTube, and she says, um, you know, Jesus provides repentance. So anytime you're like, forgive me, Jesus, that's actually Jesus talking <laughs> through you um, so it's just a beautiful thing because if you say Jesus forgive me you're finding the heart of Jesus which is Jesus speaking through you so that's what you do you need to repent and connect on that deepest level forgive others ask Jesus to forgive you then ask Jesus to forgive them that's the threefold repentance and that is the repentance that is true repentance threefold repentance um, there's nothing like it uh, anywhere. Once you've asked them, asked Jesus to forgive the other person, you're free and clear uh, not to sin again, but you're free and clear of that particular sin, right? Now, the thing about sin is um, we're going to sin. Uh, if you say that you're without sin, the truth is not in you. So repent of that sin and just don't do it again. And to me, it's like a microcosm, right? Every sin is unique to itself. Even if you do the same sin twice uh, on different days or something, right? Um, well, it's different days. You have, if you didn't repent for the second day, you're not forgiven. I mean, if you repented for the first day, you're forgiven of that. But if you didn't on the second day, you don't have that forgiveness. So we always have to be in this cycle of repentance. Um, that's the only way to stay clean. It's just like taking a shower. Um, like when people say rinse and repeat, you know? It, that's kind of what it's like. We're but filthy rags before God anyways. He's looking for a perfect church. But as we do what I call like loads of laundry full of sin, eventually we're going to have clean clothes, right? To wear and be like, hey, look, my shirt is clean, right? There's not a blemish on it. Eventually that will happen. But until then, we have to keep washing our clothes until every blemish is out of them. You see what I'm saying? So anyways, uh, repent every time you sin, and just know that that's Jesus repenting for you, okay? Anyways, this is Roll88, um, just think about it, and um, know that the time is short, so just repent, you know, Jesus forgive me of all my sins. Do a moral inventory, do a spiritual inventory, do a personal inventory before the Lord, and say, look, this is who I am, you know me, Jesus, forgive me of being that old man and let me be that new man with you and he will do it um, because he is mighty to forgive and everything else um, and yes probation is closing and it's time to get on the ark because this is the end of the world with fire this time so we have to be aware of that we need to be repenting basically on our faces fasting uh, feeding the sheep, doing all these things, because everything's being accounted for in these last hours. And there will be basically heaven or hell to pay for whatever happens in these last hours. So make it count for heaven. Don't store up your treasures in hell. That's not in the Bible. Okay, I love you all very much. Like, comment, subscribe. Do your threefold repentance. Forgive others, ask Jesus to forgive you, and ask Jesus to forgive them. Because Jesus is very real. He's a living God. He's our living God and Savior, and he's coming again someday. Okay? I love you all very much.